today I wanted to show an application called Pixel Off. Now on our smartphones and tablets, the one component that uses the most of our battery by far is the screen. Now AMOLED panels have gotten around this a little bit by only lighting up the individual pixels if there is a color for that pixel. For example, the LCD panel will light the entire screen even if you're just showing the color black. But on an OLED panel, an AMOLED panel, and an SAMOLED panel, the phone is only going to light up a pixel if there is a color there. So if you're showing a full black screen, then the display component itself is not using any of your battery. So this pixel off application takes advantage of this and uses a little less of your battery. So whenever you launch the application, you'll get the option to help the app improve. They can take some anonymous location data so they can sell it to some advertisers because there's no ads in this app. If you don't want it, you can just tap on no and it won't request the location data. And if you still want to support the developer, which you should if this application is beneficial to you, you can tap on that icon at the top right and pay $1.50 for the in-app purchase. So again, the goal of this application is to save battery on any device that uses a, an, L, an OLED panel. Again, that's OLED, AMOLED, and Samsung's AMOLED. And this does this by turning off a mesh of pixels. So as you can see here, when we tap on mesh number one, I'm sorry, we tap on mesh number two, the display will get darker whenever we toggle it on because it's cutting off some of these pixels. And change this to mesh number three we can see it gets darker and we can see it on mesh number four it gets even darker so we can toggle this on and off it's able to do this by turning off pixels in a mesh which means that your battery will take less of a hit now the mesh five and the mesh one are limited by the in-app purchase which again if you find this application useful you should definitely pay the dollar fifty to use it you can even create custom meshes if you pay for the in-app purchase to try to make it save you some battery but maybe not have the display as dark as you can see even here the brightness of the display does go dimmer because of this. And whenever you activate this mesh and toggle it on, you're going to have a notification. From here you can toggle the mesh on and off or you can stop it altogether. You have the option to start it on boot so you don't have to mess with the toggle every time you restart the phone and you can even choose to start the uh, mesh only whenever your device is low on battery kind of like a battery saver mode but again you have to have the in-app purchase and just want to show you the settings of the application you can overlay this mesh on the navigation bar you can choose to hide this status bar icon the notification will still be there because if not then Android would eventually stop the service 
I'm going to have some options to prevent uneven wear. And they do this because the pixels on a, an OLED panel are only going to be good for a certain amount of time. So if you always have certain pixels on whenever the device is on, those pixels will eventually die out. So with this, you can choose to rotate or translate the mesh. And you can even choose a preventative action period. So you can change that every minute, every 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20, 30, or an hour. You have an option to set exactly what percentage level you want that battery level to kick in at. Then there's some what they call saver extras, which will let you turn off the mesh in some predefined app activities specific activities like the app installer or whenever you get the root prompt and you can also do an application blacklist so if there are certain applications maybe like a navigation application where you need the phone to and display to be as bright as possible while you're in your car you can add something like Google Maps here so whenever you launch Google Maps the mesh will be toggled off these saver extras actually require the access accessibility service so you'll need to change that right from here and it's just a nice little application that will save your battery life especially if you use your phone a lot and you get a lot of screen on time out of your device. And it's something that you don't have to change the way you use your phone. You don't have to disable location services. You don't have to uninstall applications. You can use your phone exactly how you normally would. But since you have this mesh turned on and pixels are off by default, it's not going to use as much of your battery. It's also a good way of dimming your screen if you feel the minimum brightness level isn't good enough, especially for nighttime. You can use this to dim your screen even more. So that is the Pixel Off Battery Saver application. And even though it does say Pixel, it's not specifically for the Pixel phones. You can get the added benefit of the battery life savings on any phone or tablet that uses an AMOLED panel.